Rumpelstiltskin. Once there was a miller who had a beautiful daughter. He was a very poor man. One day the miller went to visit the king. To make himself seem more important, he told the king, My daughter can spin straw into gold. The king was impressed by this bit of information. If your daughter is as clever as you say, bring her to my palace tomorrow, so that I can put her to the test, he told the miller. The next day the miller brought his daughter to the king. The king put her in a room full of straw and gave her a spinning wheel. You must spin this straw into gold tonight. If it has not been completed by morning, you shall be killed. Then the king locked the room and left her alone to work. The miller's daughter was scared and started to cry. She had no idea how to turn straw into gold. Then all at once the door opened and a little man walked inside. Good evening, miss. Why are you crying? the little man asked. I must spin this straw into gold and I don't know how, the miller's daughter replied. The little man's eyes brightened. What will you give me if I do it for you? he asked. I shall give you my necklace, the miller's daughter said. The little man took the necklace and then sat down at the wheel. Soon a reel of straw had been spun into gold. By morning all of the straw had been turned into gold. When the king came to the room in the morning he was delighted. However, seeing all of the gold caused his heart to become greedy. He sent the miller's daughter to another room full of straw. If you value your life, you will turn all of this into gold by morning. Once again the miller's daughter sat in the room and cried. Surely the little man would not appear to help her twice. Just then the door opened and the little man walked in again. What will you give me if I do the work for you? he asked. The ring on my finger, the miller's daughter replied. The little man took the ring and worked all night to turn the straw into gold. In the morning the king was delighted once again. However, he wanted even more gold. He took the miller's daughter into an even larger room filled with straw. Spin this too. If you succeed, I shall make you my wife, the king said. He thought that making her his wife would make him the richest man in the world. That evening the little man came again. What will you give me if I do the work for you? he asked. I have nothing left to give, the miller's daughter said. Then promise to give me your first child if you become queen, the little man said. Thinking she might never become queen, the miller's daughter agreed, and the little man turned all of the straw into gold. In the morning the king was once again delighted. He kept his word and took the miller's daughter as his wife. A year later the queen had a child. She had forgotten all about the little man and the promise she made. But suddenly he appeared and asked for the child. The queen was terrified and refused to give up her child. I'll give you all the riches in the kingdom if you just let me keep my baby, she told the little man. But the little man refused. Then the queen began to cry. Finally the little man said, I'll give you three days to guess my name. If you guess correctly, you may keep your child. That night the queen made a list of names. The next day she read them off to the little man. She tried Harry, George, Melville, Casper, Balthazar, and many others. However, none of them belonged to the little man. The second day the queen asked around the kingdom. She tried short ribs, lace legs, crazy pants, frog lips, and many other unique names. But none of them belonged to the little man. On the third day a messenger came to the queen. I have not had any success asking around the kingdom, but I did see a little man dancing in the forest. He was singing this song. Today I bake, tomorrow I brew, the next I'll have the queen's child. How glad I am that no one knew that Rumpelstiltskin I'm styled. When the little man came to the queen on the third day, she guessed a few other names. She tried John, Barney, and finally asked, Is it Rumpelstiltskin? The little man was angry and yelled, You have cheated! You have cheated! 
In his anger he tore himself in two before disappearing into the air. And the queen and her child lived happily ever after. <laughs>